would you feel knowing whoever was fondling your nugs was vaccinated against COVID? <laughs> Pretty good, right? That's the wager McDonald's is making, and they are going to offer employees four bonus hours of pay for getting both COVID shots. It's a win-win because cooking up gut bombs in close proximity is a daily super spreader event for a lot of fast food workers, even if they're only spreading obesity and heart disease to loyal patrons. And now with an inoculation, they can feel good about playing greasy grab ass free from the Rona, all while enticing customers to eat in peace without glaring at the fry cook poking their buns. Trader Joe's and Olive Garden are following suit to incentivize workers to take the jab with similar bonuses, which keeps their workforce safe and is an excellent marketing tool for choosy germ freaks who want the luxury of chain dining without a peace of mind that only comes from knowing your server snot isn't going to kill you. Some big governmentalists think paying people to get the shot is the only way to achieve herd immunity. Since just last month, one, one Kaiser Foundation poll showed some Americans, over half of them, are still set against the vaccine. Our favorite almost president and world-class welcher, John Delaney, says we should pay, we should get paid each of us $1,500 for full vaccination. And future New York City mayor and perennial giveaway freak Andrew Yang he concurs. But these guys are rich. Let them pay people out of their own deep pockets. Companies luring people to Vaccineville is much better than the government requiring people to take the mystery medicine, although there is some precedent for states actually mandating any such vaccine tyranny and not the feds. But would you quit your job if they made you get the vaccine? For most people, I'm amazed to hear them complaining because I cannot imagine the side effects of these vaccines could be nearly as toxic as sitting around getting Uber Eats and making Zoom cocktails for another year. Bring on the jabs, corporate America. If it takes fast foodies to set the standard and open up this economy and our lives again, I have to say, I'm loving it. And that's the memo.